I'm a little starstruck. Can't lie, I saw Viola Davis. I was like, oh, I can't, I can't even talk to her. She's so perfect. Hey Vogue, welcome to the show, come on in. We are currently backstage at L'Oreal. We're super excited. We're actually sitting directly underneath the Eiffel Tower right now, which is pretty cool. It's gonna be a special night. I've been here all day working and the show's gonna start probably in the next hour and a half, I think. Um, so we're just kind of touching up and hanging out and <laughs> chatting. What's the TikTok trend right now. Oh my God, I love this question. <laughs> like, I love this question. I like pack on hangers so like I can just rehang everything super easily. So like I'll have all my stuff sectioned out and then put things in garment bags and then label the country or the city or whatever. And then once I'm there, I just take the garment bag out, put it, put the hangers on the, in the closet and I'm done. And then I pull my shoes out and my bags out and that's it. So it's like a super efficient, like easy way of packing rather than folding everything. Oh my God, see, I didn't really understand this whole thing for a while. And then I think I started to, to pick up on it more and more, but I don't know The Bachelor. Like, <laughs> is that a good one? <laughs> My bag is not exciting today. It's actually embarrassing today. This is not a planned what's in my bag. This is a very genuine and odd what's in my bag today. I have been traveling with all my vitamins. So I have my vitamin thing, which is so grandma of me. I have my wallet. I was so sad. I got this as a Christmas gift from my sister and then I spilled water in my bag and it got ruined. I got really sad about that. But I have a hair clip, my sunglasses, Obviously, I think anyone who's seen any video of me knows that I don't go anywhere without them. I was changing a lot today, so I do have my travel jewelry box with me. Also a gift from a friend. And then it's all, oh, well, my phone's in here too. That's not as exciting. That's pretty much it today in my, my new row find. I've been wearing it every day. This season I've been doing a, like a healthy mix, I think. I think I sat it two and walked three, four. I enjoy being on the other side of it and watching all the beautiful girls go down the runway and then also being able to be a part of it is such an honor, so. I think in the beginning I was so nervous and so I didn't want them around and I just wanted it to be like taken seriously personally. So I um, didn't really have them around, but now that they're here and now I'm more comfortable on a runway, I think I'm totally fine with it. They could scream and shout all they want. I do have a superstitious prayer that I've said since day one, and it, it's repetitive. I say the same exact thing, but I'm not gonna say it because it feels very personal. I won't even call it superstitious. It's just a prayer that I say every time. Hello? What a surprise! I can't see what you were up to. Mom, you're, you're so timely and you're early. I'm really? an hour and 15 minutes oh, early. Oh, hi, Bo. Oh, hi, Bo. Oh, your shoes are so cute. Oh, thank you, Kenny. I love your outfit. Oh my God, my daughter loves my outfit. Only when I yell, Kendall! <laughs> There's an amazing clip with the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. I'm like allowed to wave back, whereas other shows it's very serious. She was very excited. When she waved back, I thought, you made my life, Kendall. <laughs> 400 shows and I never even got a wink. Even when you scream, just now I hear you. Okay, good. Thank you, Vogue, for stopping by before the show. I'll see you guys out on the runway.